Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I want to add my voice and this afternoon to support this amendment to the Income Tax Act, which is the Income Tax Amendment Act, Mr. Speaker. It might appear to be a very small gesture, but it is something I believe deep in my heart has significant implication for our, our laborers, our small contractors. When, as a government, we approach the electorate, we made one strong commitment, and that was to put the people first. And as we sit as a cabinet of ministers, we start looking at the various sectors of the economy, how we have attempted to address general consumers, and I'll speak on that a little later on the next bill before us, how we have assisted the business community, how we have assisted areas in education, which was articulated this morning. And today I am extremely pleased that as a member of parliament and as a member of the cabinet of ministers, I want to take this moment to thank the Minister for Finance for taking into consideration the plight of our small contractors and laborers. And you've heard it, persons who would have a contract for $10,000 or less. And when you understand the implication of a 10% deduction on a $10,000 contract, um, as a parliamentary rep, when you have issued this contract and you have a contractor coming back to the office to say, I did not make any money, so I'm losing money on that particular contract. Because most times, what we have understood is that the costing of this project sometimes has not been done properly. The costings have not been done properly. So that person having a $10,000 contract and $1,000 is taken away through the tax system, most times ended up with a loss or not gaining anything for themselves, especially if they have to employ other persons to assist them. Most times they have to employ other persons to assist them on these small contracts, and they end up in a lost situation. So when we looked at that situation, I am extremely proud of my cabinet colleagues and parliamentarians today, especially <coughs> led by our minister, our prime minister and minister for finance, for taking this bold step to touch the thousands of small contractors That's right. around the country. Thousands of contractors around the country. And the minister, the prime minister, is correct to say that most times those persons would only receive maybe one or two of these contracts a year. So in essence, they were at a disadvantage because when you look at the adjustments that we've made to the Income Tax Act in terms of the threshold before taxes are being paid, they would have been below the $24,000 threshold. And yet we were taking $2,000 from them if they had two contracts. Yeah. So they were already at a disadvantage. And because they are not part of that system, That's right. they do not file and they never get a refund. That's right. So we are attempting with this uh, uh, amendment to correct this, mm -hmm. to bring it, make it a, a, a lot um, easier and equitable on our small contractors. Mm -hmm. But I want to take this moment as well to say that there is an opportunity within this program where we see a lot more linkages between the system at the Accountant General Department and the system at the Inland Revenue Department. Because as a government, we know we have gone into DigiGov and we believe with this networking, 
persons, because the question was asked earlier by the member opposite, what happens to persons who have five or six or seven contracts? I believe that is what he's saying. And whether um, there is a, an opportunity for a loophole. <clears throat> but with the linkage between DigiGov, Accountant General, Inland Revenue, this system is going to sh signal the, the, the system should highlight when somebody has received more than two or three contracts. And that is where the relative um, tax returns should address that. So I'm pleased today as a member of parliament, when I speak to my farmers and my contractors in Fochejac, in Barron's Drive, to say that we heard the plea and we have addressed it. It is extremely important for us as a government that we represent all sectors of our economy. And today we are touching a large word. I don't think we have the, dollar, the numbers, but I believe we are touching a large amount of persons right. in the farming community, laborers, unskilled laborers. And, and today I, I, I stand here very pleased, very happy that this administration of the St. Lucia Labor Party is again putting the people of St. Lucia first. I thank you, Mr. Speaker.